Hi guys, <laughs> what's up? I'm just casually coming on here talking to you guys like I haven't been gone for like Sorry for being for being a mess I gave my best but was too late But was too late Hi Living Fam, welcome back to another weekly vlog. I'm kicking off this week vlog by talking about the supermarket. So I went to the supermarket today and I'm telling you guys that I don't want to complain because God has made a provision to be able to afford these things. But when I tell you it's very expensive out here in these streets. So I got like literally two bag of things, two bags of things and it, were, and it was like $10,400. Let me show you what I got. So yeah, this is a quick little grocery haul. So I got these oatmeal square um, brown sugar cereal. It has 10 grams of protein in there. So yeah. Also got this black tea decaf. This is one the one my husband prefers. So got that. The milk that I've been buying for a couple of months now is this vanilla soy. They have it in other flavors too. Like they have it in a red box and they have it in a green box. It's actually dairy free and gluten free. So I like to have that with my cereal or if I'm making a smoothie or anything like that. Um, Corned beef. I prefer this corned beef. There's something about it that I like, and it also is rich in protein, high in fat, but rich in protein. Chicken, ham. Also got these Frankfurter. Um, some apples. I got these uh, sparkling energy drink, and these have like. I think it's 12 grams of carbs and no additional sugar. Tastes so good so far. I haven't tried the lemon lime yet, but I've tried the strawberry kiwi and it's really good. So I bought these so I can drink them before I go to my workout in the mornings. Um, so yeah. Also got these uh, chips, the Chuck Cheetos banana chips. Um, this is the fr our favorite banana chips right now. My husband tends to like these, so I got those. I got some macaroon cookies and some Miss Birdie biscuits and of course a Tutti Frutti. So let me tell you, I have this obsession with Tutti Frutti and the reason why I have this obsession with it because it reminds me of my childhood when I was going to high school. This is what I used to buy every day, a Tutti Frutti with a with our cheesies and our orange juices. <laughs> Every time I seem to see Tutti Frutti these days, I don't tend to buy it all the time, but when I feel for something sweet, I buy a Tutti Frutti just because it reminds me of that. And I also got bread, and the bread that I got was not even a part of the grocery shopping. I was just passing the truck, and I saw the shorty bread, and I know that it's fresh, so I bought them. I ended up I told you guys about that in my last vlog so I ended up buying three and don't judge me on the bread guys because I may not know I really really enjoy them bread so I bought three um another thing that did not come in the grocery that I wanted to show you guys remember I was telling you about the protein powders um the vegan protein such I told you guys about that I'm taking a break from dairy and so I had ordered some vegan protein powder from Peace Science so I have a whey pro powder from Peace Science Pea Science in vanilla flavor really really enjoy it um, but like I said I'm taking a little break from milk so I bought these protein and I have to supplement my protein especially with working out so this comes with two, four, six of them, and I think I paid what forty-six dollar, I think. So these are like all six of them combined together is like thirty servings. So they have them in different flavors. I decided to go with this because I really wanted to try to see which one is the best one. 
so um this one is mint chocolate vegan powder and these all have 20 grams of protein this one is chocolate peanut butter um, and then we have uh, cinnamon delight we have uh, peanut butter delight um, chocolate bliss and the last one is vanilla yeah vanilla indulgence so I also have this pre-workout um, drink as I really want to get. I think it's prolific. Is the brand? Yeah. Um, and they also sent over some serving samples. This is half serving sample. Um, this one is Snickerdoodle, but I think this is whey. This is not vegan. This one is vegan, and they also sent over. Um, I don't know what this is, but yeah i'll read up on it later oh yeah it's a pre-workout yeah so these are everything that i got so i'm excited to try the, the protein powders um and i'll report back and let you know how it is because i don't know i don't personally i don't enjoy protein powders like vegan protein powders so yeah every time i've invested in any I don't like it so I'm hoping that I like these so yeah um also bought lunch today from best meals and I bought um sweet and sour chicken with the roti so it's actually late this is like 3 21 now and I'm just about to have lunch so anyway I'll talk to you guys later so I tried the chocolate peanut butter flavor and it's not bad at all like it's actually better than i thought it would have been because like i told you that vegan protein is like meh to me like oh but i put some blueberries half a banana and soy milk and a scoop of this and actually edible mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I can just imagine what the vanilla tastes like. Today's lunch for rack rib, barbecue ribs with cornbread and garlic rolls. I'm actually more excited about the garlic rolls than I am about the cornbread. This morning we are actually headed to um, to church and this is my church outfit for the day. I know that yeah um, we are headed to the beach today for a family day and worship. So basically we're having church on the beach, which is super exciting. And so I'm a part of the planning committee. So we are ex we're expected to, to get to church with everyone because we're carpooling and we're supposed to get there by 7.15. It's currently 7 o'clock. So we're basically getting ready to do that. You guys have seen a similar outfit to this before. T-shirt, um, jean shorts. I'm actually wearing a bathing suit, but it actually looks like a bodysuit. Um, my jewelry. I'm gonna put on my my H&M sandals. And I don't know if I'm keeping the bonnet on my head. I feel like I want to take it off, but based on how I feel, based on the heat, um, I have my sunscreen and everything with me. Telling you. Siri, I'm not speaking to you. So I remember the other day when I was telling you guys, I don't remember which video it was, 
But I was telling you guys that, yo, TikTok is a real search engine. You guys, like a real search engine. And uh, sometimes I go on there and I find some accounts that like completely blow my mind. So there's this, I was just on TikTok a while ago, scrolling through, and I saw this account called Make Life Simpler. And uh, I was looking at this, these hacks that you have going on here. One of them being like packing a suitcase and folding all of your clothing or all of your outfits together, which is absolutely incredible. Um, when I looked at it, um, I'm going to try and insert it here on the screen for you guys to watch it. And then I found another one that says, can you do jeans? As in like folding jeans. So I went and I took all of my jeans off of my shelf. And I want to show you what guys, what my jeans look like. So these are some of my jeans that I took from one side of the shelf. So I decided that, hey, I'm gonna try this hack, the folding hack. Like I said, insert it on the screen so you guys can see what I'm talking about. But I wanted to show you guys, like, I tried the hack. This is the size of the jeans after I did the hack. And this is how I technically always fold it before. Like this one, like, you know, the regular, regular fold it in and fold it like this and then just put it on the shelf same way you don't normally see it when you go like a clothing store and then put them out but this size and this size like I'm, I'm actually blown away so I'm in the process of folding all of my jeans like that so this is the first one I did so I'm trying the same hack with a bigger size jeans. So I just spread it out like this. Fold it in. Fold it in here. Then fold it like that. Fold the other side like this. And then I close it like this. So I literally close it. So this is how much smaller they are. jeans are so much more organized now it's actually insane like you so saw one simple hack can literally change your whole life or how you normally do things amazing amazing one eternity later hi guys <laughs> what's up I'm just casually coming on here talking to you guys like I haven't been gone for like a month or so I don't know how long it's been since the last time I filmed a video or picked up this camera but I don't know but I've just not been in the mood you guys I I don't know what's wrong I don't think that anything is really wrong it's just I am just I haven't been in the mood but I feel like when you cut your hair it's like at this awkward stage where you don't really know what to do with it like except like wash and goes so I've literally been submerging my hair into water like weekly or every couple of days so that my hair can you know, so I can literally wear it in wash and go. So, um, I decided to get a, like a, a little style cut instead of the regular like trim on the same level and allow it to grow. So the back is a lot shorter than the front. Um, I like it for the most part, if I'm to be honest. And the cut was very necessary. So, um, 
yeah, the cut was very necessary. So I'm trying to just rake through with product. What I'm using right now is Curl Ma Curly Magic. Um, my friend Lauren, she put me on to this. It smells really good. Yeah, so it smells really good and I like that it does make the curls feel like crunchy. If that makes sense, it doesn't feel crunchy. So I really, really like that about it. It doesn't really feel like you have much product in the hair. So I also love that too. So I'm actually here for it. So I'm about to get ready because I have, um, today is, yesterday was my grandmother's 85th birthday. And so the entire family is doing like a, a little celebration um, of her life because it's 85 years, no joke, in the park. And she's, she's still so strong, you guys, like walking around, all of that, you know? Like she's still so strong, she's so amazing to me. Um, so, you know, we're blessed to have her. So we're gonna be celebrating her today. Even though there's a storm coming, um, there's a storm that is supposed to hit today <sighs> into tomorrow. I, I really thought that we were out of the woods in terms of the storm because like, I'm here thinking that you're the storm. Like, why are we getting a storm right now? Because the, the hurricane season has been very quiet. So I'm actually very surprised that we're getting a storm today. So yeah and i think i need to go to the supermarket and get one or two little things so. so i'm about to get this makeup off my face and i'm about to rip these boob tapes off so i don't know if you guys have seen like my vlog like i don't know how long ago it was i told you that guys i bought some boob tape from amazon and these boob tapes, guys, I don't really like black bras anyway in the first place, but Ooh, what? Ooh. if you guys have hair on your body, like if you have hair on them, something up on your breasts, ripping off the boob tapes, definitely. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, so the experience taking off the boob tapes is not like glorious or anything but when i tell you that i was so comfortable today in my dress because i ended up wearing a dress it's a whole other situation it's not at all like the feeling that you have when you're not wearing any bra and like nipples to the wind i didn't feel that way because it's like the, the tape just like i don't know they were sitting so i'm i'm really really grateful for boob tape i think i'm gonna order some more because like the roll that i bought i thought it would have lasted me a long time but didn't last me any time at all so today was so good you guys it was so lovely celebrating my grandmother's 85th birthday like my family members that i've not seen since before the pandemic like maybe yeah since like 2019 or so i saw some of those people today which i'm so grateful for so yeah I was she is she watches my vlog she always watches my vlog and so i was telling her that hey i'm in a funk and may i tell you say like um i just i'm just in a funk i just feel like posting i feel like you know and she she just gave me a little pep talk that made me feel inspired to even like pick up the camera and vlog for you guys like actually talking to you guys right now um she said to me that what you don't realize is that a lot of people life is about ebbs and flows this means you're up this means you're down this means you're motivated this means you're not motivated and she also said that people want to be in the like the low with me like whatever it is that you know it's on my mind that's bothering me or whatever people want to see the authenticity of like the fact that yo life is not always as glamorous and glorious and as much as i have so much to be grateful for you guys and, but that's just the thing about life like we have ebbs and flows we have highs and we have lows and 
we are all going through something no matter what that situation is maybe i can't relate to what you're going through maybe you can't relate to what i'm going through but we are all going through something and that's the thing about life is that we need to be compassionate and loving and caring towards each other because like we have to try to be each other's pillars and so i don't want to be one of those people who just highlights the good things that are happening like oh it's i'm so happy i'm just gonna show that but i also want to be real with you guys and let you know that yo sometimes it's just me at home like doing absolutely nothing Baby. chicken grain and I'm actually gonna do like a what do you call it cook down chicken brown stew chicken but I have like some laundry to take care of like laundry laundry and I have some laundry on the ballet stall so don't judge me so um I I guess maybe by the time you guys see this vlog i'm thinking i'm gonna be on vacation and i actually want to start packing today so that i don't have a lot of like stuff to do um for the next couple of days because we're literally leaving in like a couple of days like yeah so careful rocks careful mama careful so yeah um i'm gonna show you guys my curry chicken this angle is not the best but yeah so i didn't have like better pack curry i have some Indian curry i think and i don't love when my curry has this color it's not my favorite color um but here. I'm expecting it to taste good. Also fried some chicken. I'm gonna cook it down. So the method that I normally use for frying chicken is not chicken, not fried chicken, but cooking down chicken. Yeah, so the method that I normally use for like the I look rough, I need to go take a shower and bear things. But yeah. The method that I normally use when I am um, cooking down chicken is really girls cook method. No browning, no browning at all. So I basically like fried chicken first and then cook it down basically. But I don't use no browning. So it normally have like a brown brown color which is actually amazing. So and I re really really enjoy it that way. So that's the way we normally do it. So I spent today cleaning the car it was raining all day today um still kind of overcast and stuff so yeah um so that's what we've been doing basically watching tv shows and uh, cooking watch more tv shows clean the car basically so what i've been watching on netflix now is the Dahmer story that's the one with the serial killer you guys if you've not watched that limited series oh child like people yo these white people are crazy like it's like mind-blowing at this point mind-blowing I'm, I'm like i'm like there's no way there's no way this really happened so it's kind of like yeah so i have it to finish up and then I think I'm gonna move on to something lighter, like maybe a little chick flick show, cause I think Netflix came up with some bunch of shows. I have some of my other shows to catch up on, like C and, you know, 
I'm put it up right here. So, yeah. So I have some of my other shows to catch up on as well. Um, that we haven't gotten a chance to. But you guys, like, I feel like it's crunch time. Um, because of so much that we have to do in such a short space of time in order to travel. So, mm, it's already tastes so good. So I'm gonna make some like steamed vegetables um, and uh, steamed vegetables and breadfruit. Cause I have some breadfruit in the fridge. I need to try and use up everything that I have um, that isn't in a freezer. So I bought this um, at Five Smart the last time we went here. And it's actually pretty good. So I think I'm gonna steam some of this. We're gonna have that with curry chicken and the breadfruit and that's what we're gonna have for dinner. Um, yeah, and call it a day. But like, I'm trying to <laughs> figure out why I cook so much chicken. But hopefully we're gonna eat this off before we leave. Hopefully. Guys, what a day it has been today. It rained heavily all day. Like today was a horrible day in business. Like terrible. I can't even imagine if we actually had the storm coming in because the way how the rain did a pour, I hear so many people and I've been seeing so many videos of places flooded. But to God be the glory, we're warm and we're comfortable and all of that. So I, I don't know if I mentioned that we're going on vacation and uh, where we're going, it's cold. Oh my God, listen, I'm so excited about it being cold. I don't know if you guys know this about me, but I love being cold. I absolutely enjoy it. It's so weird because a lot of people are like, Oh, you guys are not cold enough. That's why you love the cold. I don't love when it's freezing cold, but I love to be cold. I love like a good jacket type of vibe, if that makes sense. My hair is looking hideous. So I did a lot of my packing today. A lot of my packing. And so I wanted to show you guys how I pack a couple of my stuff. So you can ignore some of the things I'm here but i have a couple of things to sort out so i didn't want to fully close it because i have um tomorrow i have all of tomorrow so yeah i bought these packing cubes on amazon you guys game changer i am so excited to pack i was not overwhelmed at all packing them so um this is a big one i have so many outfits in this one alone and i feel like you can actually hold more stuff in there and i have these ones as well some more packing cubes i have this one not finished that's why it's not closed up yet and i have these these bags also came with it that you can put your shoes in so i have like a lot of my shoes in here um, so the packing cubes really work out um well i'm super excited um about that so yes i think i am going to do i think i have some press-ons so i had gotten my toes done thursday of last week and i have some press-ons um let's see if i can find the whole bag of press on so i was actually thinking of putting on the press ons tonight but i'm not sure because i don't want them to fall off even though i'm gonna have to walk with glue and stuff because once you use press ons you're gonna have to like walk with glue so right so i have some press ons here I don't know if I have enough of one. Um, I probably should have bought, you know, I should have bought. I feel like I should have bought some. Um, because I don't think I have enough to cover all my nails. But I actually really like the Kiss brand for um, press-ons. I really like the kiss brand. Wow. I feel like why? I... 
I don't think I have the glue. So I don't think I don't think I can put these on today because I think I'm gonna have to buy you know those glue the the I thought I had one but it looks like I don't have it. But um I don't know, I should have followed my mind when I said I was gonna buy when I was gonna order um some press ons. So I think I might order the press on, ship it to the address that was staying and then probably do it over there. I think I just might do that because I don't think I have enough to cover all my 10 fingers at all. So I think I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna purchase them on Amazon and then do it when I get over there. So I'm gonna walk with like my emery board and all of them company. Yeah, cause I don't think I have that. All right guys, so I don't know if I'm gonna see you guys again but if not, I'll talk to you guys in the next vlog. See you then.